Hey guys, Crew Blonde with I'm Eric. Rick. Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine Nine. We are. Last time on. It's gonna be hard to top the last one, especially that intro. Hitchcock and Scully in the '80s was a hell of a thing. <laughs> and also, hell of a thing. Lots of cops. Hmm? Lots of cops was one of my notes because there's just lots of cops on the cops. Okay. Yeah. They said cups. I was like, why are there a lot of cups? No, there's not enough cups it's for all the cops. Enough. I don't yeah. remember lots of cups. No, there's not, not enough oh, cups for all the cops. Oh, it's congested hoops. because the 9-9 is being punished because yep. Holt has spoken out against yep. the chief's policies. Yeah. You could have said that. Or beaver trap. The long-anticipated reunion of DDC! The DDC! DDC! You get what that is if you knew what that was. Dope. Denim crew. Our 20 year high school reunion is tonight and the party oh. tonight. Sophomore year was rough, but now I was back with a hot new look. An earring and long hair. Which was my look, and he just copied it. And it worked. <laughs> it's finally cool and becoming friends with the most popular kid in school. Brandon Bliss. Dope name. Sounds hot. He was hot, Rosa. For the record, he could barely read. He didn't have to read, Gina. He lost his virginity when he was 12 years old. Which is horrifying. But it wasn't back then. <laughs> it wasn't back then. <laughs> A D D C, A D D C, A D D C. Okay, I was like, did we skip the intro? What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> we already had the Pontiac Bandit this season. Yeah, we always have the Pontiac. And we have it. No, it's only we're only three episodes in. Yeah. Shit. It'd be great if he's in this. When Halloween. Like episode seven. This place hasn't changed one bit in twenty years. It's a real indictment of the public school system. Wow. Hey, Santiago no looks. Hey, this is Mike Jackson, right. a.k.a. Hey, Eugenia, what have you been up to? Nothing crazy, yeah, just writing those Thor movies. Seriously? <laughs> oh God, tell me everything. Legally, I can't get into it too much, but just know that the next one will have a lot more full frontal. Well, if you need some stuff, huh. In the trailer, he gets his Sam's clothes blown on. You're right. right, she's a prophet. Or, or the writers. Okay. Thor, four more oh, Thor. Doing, Gosh, it's so cool how we all still dress the same. <laughs> Why is everyone gathered around the radio? Who are they testing the emergency broadcasting system? What? No. I'm <laughs> listening to a contest. JC and the Horn Dog. Oh. FM radio. Yeah, the hosts are beyond disgusting. But they do a fun game where they play a mystery sound and call us guess what it is for a cash prize. It's like Kudo. They're about to play the new song. Longway.com slash Kudo. It's a crinkle, I solved it. Yes, but you have to know what object is making the crinkle. But this uh, is possible. It could be anything. Snickers wrapper. Chips. It's a game. It's a bag of potato chips. Don't be an idiot. It's a bag of corn chips. Well, this is a total waste of time. Sure. What you got? But you can still have fun huh? even if you're wasting time. Again. That's absurd. Productivity is what makes things fun. That's why humans go to work. It is? Hey, is that why you go to work? Home, Alicia and I broke up because oh, yeah. she moved to London. Then we tried to make it work, but the distance was too much. And then we broke up again. No, the last thing you told me about yourself was that you were bi. Not a lot has happened since then. Anyway, I'm dating two other people. Damn. Okay. Two. A long time. I'm drowning. Oh, gross. Charles, I don't tell you anything. I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> His face is so earnest. I never have trouble making decisions. Choose the daughter. <laughs> it used to take me so long to decide what to wear that I'd never change my clothes. But now look what I have on. Is this different than what you were wearing yesterday? Barely. <laughs> I'm totally over it. Oh, man, it's the tattler. I didn't tattle! <laughs> I think I might not be over it. I think I might not be over it. I love that Amy has that, like, one of those, uh... Choker, necklaces. it looks so good, I don't know. Let's just find the real tattler and prove your innocence. Yes, I love it. Why learn to grow when you can fix the past? This is exactly why I know you're here. I'm pretty sure it's a guy eating a sandwich. I'll prove it to you. I'm not buying you any more sandwiches, Scully. I'm doing this for us. <laughs> Why? That's what the horn dog wants. We're How long do they have? He tests in more things. Oh. Well, commercial break, right? Yeah, maybe. It's this crinkly, crunkly yogurt. Jerry heard a crinkle. Hold heard a crinkle too. <laughs> Not a waste of time if we win. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Jeffrey? Call the horn dog. <laughs> Call the horn dog. Toddler. It's like Tinder, but for toddlers. Tinder for toddlers. I like it. Like How play you dates. How many D's? Five. <sighs> <laughs> okay, I saw Brandon after second period and everything seemed okay, tight. Flashback. Oh my ah! God! Yes! Look at that hair. 
It's great. And his earring. After third period, something had clearly changed. <laughs> his face. Was little color left in the world for young Jake. My earring, less gold. My Jenko jeans, less purple. I had Jenko jeans. Are becoming cold? Yeah, why? I know how to solve this. We just have to find out which football player had third period with Brandon Bliss. We need his class schedule. Yeah, but where are we going to find that? In the coolest room in the school. The, the records are Oh, she's going to get... Oh, jeez! Oh, At least he wrapped her fist Sorry. first. He's never been more attractive. Thank God. Now, first, I will need the names of the two people you're choosing between. I will not be telling you any information about them. No problem. We can work with that. I will just call them by their initials. Nope. I will call them Couscous and Quinoa. Whatever. Okay. Now, for this, we'll write <laughs> these questions without thinking. It makes you a lot more. Quinoa. Go ask off to lips. Couscous. The new Cirque du Soleil is in town. You have the two best seats in the house. Who are you bringing? This is for order or punishment. You decide. Quinoa. Great. Next question. <laughs> Die and become a ghost? The rules of the afterlife are that of the movie Casper. Whose house would you rather watch? How many more of these questions are there? 309. <sighs> <laughs> I love that question. Casper. Rules of the movie Casper. Zero absences. Oh, mama. Printing this for later. Keep it in your pants, Santiago. Oh, that's exactly where it's going. Okay, here's Brandon's info. Whew. Third period, first semester. Any of these people on the football team? Scott Alford, Taylor Black. Wow, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. He was in Fiddler. Okay. Although he was the MVP of that year's production of Fiddler. Oh, I love Fiddler on the Roof. You did so much community service. Me likey. Huh? Is that right? Right? I don't know what I blacked out for a second. <laughs> just be in the science lab in 10 minutes. I'll get him alone. What are you going to do? Let's just say I'm not above using my feminine wiles. Danny Matthews, I'm with the school. You need to follow me right now. Is everything? I said now, mister. I'm one caller away. I can't believe we've been Never been more attracted to Santiago. The sound is a yogurt being open. That is wrong. What? Oh. You <laughs> Damn you, horn dog. <laughs> we call this method the upside down coward. You want me to hang from the ceiling like a bat? The bat is nature's most decisive animal. The creature that flails around frantically. Those are all micro decisions. Now, <laughs> how do you feel? Nauseous. Good. It's working. <laughs> Get off the phone. Now, I'm not sure how serious you were about funding, but I should tell you there's 103 other bidders. I am not a fan of getting into bidding wars. Then don't make an offer, because I want babies on my app, but not in my boardroom. Oh, damn, Gina. Did you just oh, damn yourself? Someone had to. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk numbers. Mr. Peralta, I believe you know Danny Matthews. Okay. I remember it clear as day. Look, you couldn't have seen me because I wasn't there. I didn't tattle. It was, it was Gina. Okay, yeah. It was. She had the same hair and earring. The denim jacket you were literally wearing right now. I'm disgusted it took me this long to figure it out. Damn. It wasn't me. But it was the DDC. <laughs> Gina! Jake, guess who just sold her app idea? Don't trust her. Everything she's told you is a lie. She made up the company and everything else. She's a liar. Jake, whatever strategy this is, is not necessary. I already closed the deal. I know you were the tattler. <sighs> Why'd she do it? For his own good. So he wouldn't get arrested. Yep. For stealing a van. I mean, what would have happened if you got caught? I don't know. Wouldn't have become a cop. You'd never have become a cop. Yeah, I'm the reason you're a cop. I'm your origin story, dude. Mm -hmm. You can't be mad at me. I feel like I'm still pretty mad. Peter Parker wasn't mad at his spider. Yeah, but they weren't best friends before the bite. And it still doesn't explain how you let everyone think I was the tattler for 20 years. Well, I didn't want to lose our friendship. I was being weak. I'm sorry. Someone guessed the sound. Who was it? Chips. Wow. So the lesson here is to listen to Hitchcock and Scully more? No, that can't be possible. Yeah, I don't think you're in that today. Agreed. Sorry for dragging you into that. Day. No one guessed that? Right. I can talk to him tomorrow. I bet Sharon's already asleep. And I've got no one in my life. <sighs> Scully, play that damn noise. <laughs> We're here. Do the world a favor. Invest in Gina Linetti. Hard pass. Well, I'm smart, man. But my great speech. Yeah, speech was great, but... I've also been lying all night. Yeah. I'm not a tech mogul. I came here to mess with people. How dare you? Speaking of which, did either one of you drive? Because I could use a ride. No, oh, Quentin. Quentin. <laughs> okay. Now open Six your eyes and the person you were meant to be with be. should appear before you. Also, ah! ride of Frankenstein. Sorry. 
I'm just watching. Get out of here! It's cock! <laughs> oh, this isn't working. I'm no closer to making a decision. I'm jumping down. You can just jump down. Jeez! Wow. Oh my goodness! It's over. Put them both in the text and say peace out. No, there's two more options. Put them both in a text. We even <laughs> what? Uh, I took too long getting back to Quinoa and they got mad and ended it. And that's how it's done. What are you talking about? The process worked. Boils don't make decisions. The cowards do. Delay our decisions until the universe makes them for yes. us. That way, we never make a wrong choice. <laughs> that is very sad, but also I guess it worked. Mm -hmm. I do feel pretty good. Couscous is dope. She's funny. Couscous is a cheat. I knew it. Did you? No. I still don't know. There's equal chance you called them a cheat if only off. You get me, Boyle? Couscous. So, I love you, but it might be time for you to move on. Um, are you firing me? What? No, I don't think I can even do that. Good. <laughs> Because I quit. You know, tonight I realized that my talents are being wasted at the 9 9. Okay, that's kind of exactly what I just said. Jake, let me finish. This is serious. It's time for me to move on. For real, though. It is. Really? Okay. <sighs> I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of me, too. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> Vice Principal caught me in the library. Let's roll! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so quick. <laughs> Wanted to hear Holt say horn dog one more time. I know. It's a treasure. Call the horn dog. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Jeffords? Call the horn dog. Potato <laughs> chip seems too obvious. But nope. Eric was right. Sometimes you guess. And Sometimes you know. The universe just works out. <laughs> I can't believe all the time that they spent and yeah. no one just called and guessed a bag of potato chips. True, yeah. Well, to be said, it's too obvious. Someone guessed get styrofoam. Ridiculous. Should have guessed your squeaky chair. Yeah. I don't know why so much squeaky chair now. <laughs> Is it the headrest? Headrest. Well, it's, not, it's not squeaking from the headrest. You should never have put that on. No, no if Rick would have not grabbed the hair, headrest, it would have still been. It would have squeaked down below. Hey! There we go. Perfect. Great. <laughs> it adds weight. You just put that on. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you think that's like Gina actually leaving the show? I think it's like her getting hit by a bus. You think it's in it? We'll think it's one thing and then mm. it's not. Hmm. Seems so sudden. So yeah, in, in episode three. Yeah. This season. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've said before, like she's not like it's my favorite. Yeah, I can't the say show. I haven't wanted this. <laughs> <laughs> but there's times I she like was, her. I like other times she doesn't affect me at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Her oh damning herself in this one gave me mild amusement. Mild amusement. Mm -hmm. I liked it. Tattlegate. Dude, I can't remember my high school schedule. Like really? went up to me and yeah, it's Which like year? junior year. Junior year? Yeah. Because my schedule changed a lot. I can remember mine. Which not not for junior, because I wasn't in high school. But before that. I can remember. So sophomore? Earth Science was first in freshman year. Earth Science was last for me. Uh let's see. First and then, class. And there I had math. I am much older than you guys, so English. You'll forget in like a year. Lunch. How old are you? Thirty five. You're like a year older than yeah, us. Yeah, you'll forget in a year. You graduated like 26. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we had website design or whatever, the website class. It was sophomore year. Yeah, but yeah. that was like fifth period. That was right after lunch. No, it was, it was before and after lunch. Well, yeah, that's it true. was fifth period. We would leave and have lunch interrupted. and then come back, and we had to wait on our teacher to walk his butt back. <laughs> and open it, the locked classroom until we found out that your house key could open the door. Of almost all of Building 5. Yes. <laughs> it was great. So we had access to a printer and computers anytime we needed. It's good. Time. But we didn't tell the teachers. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Have <laughs> you ever tried that key on other things? Maybe it's like one of the few universal skeleton keys. I don't know. Uh, not too much. I tried on a couple things. If here, we man. do live in a simulation, I would definitely put like three of those out there. Just sure. to do it. Just to see if someone could crack the code. And you could have done it. Yeah. Like we all sat out there and for some reason all the students were like, just try our keys in the door. See if they open it. What a weird thing to try, you dumb kids. And I can't believe it worked. And it worked. <laughs> well, it wasn't the first key we tried. Oh. No. Like, like we were desperate. Of, yeah. Because this man was like Kakashi. Yeah. Where we would be waiting for like 15 minutes sometimes. Just sitting outside this classroom. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And getting yelled at if we talked because there's other classrooms yeah. going on. Sometimes the other teachers would come to let us in so that they wouldn't have to hear us. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I but can't yeah. think of like what my senior year homeroom was. I can't think of any of that at all. It's mm. all the concussions from football. It could be. <laughs> I have dreams where I'm like, oh shit, I haven't been to high school in 15 years, and I like <laughs> go back. And I'm like, oh, I haven't been to a science class in so long, I'm going to fail. I can still remember the combination from my locker. My high school's gone. I had, like, 12 lockers. Because I was the, whitely, W, I was the last in our class. Sure. And then they would leave <laughs> lockers open for if kids, like, moved in the year. And it's generally, like, five or six. You didn't have any XYs or Zs? No. No, no like, Yoakums or... Why would, I, why would I get rid of a Yoakum? I don't know. It's a great name. <laughs> no, I was the last one. Yeah. There was a Welch, and then there was a Whiteley. And then there was like six open lockers until A of the next <clears throat> class or whatever, right? And there'd be no locks on them. There'd be no locks. Yeah. So I would just put like, I'd have like a locker per subject. That's pretty great. The riches. And if you're really smart, you know that that's the case all throughout the entire school. So we got to the point where I was Ooh. finding the five or six empty lockers and putting like a book next to the classroom. That would have been great in our high school because yeah. the different subjects were in different buildings. Mm-hmm. Well, I know some people who would like pair up with like locker stuff mm-hmm. and they would use like here's a locker and they keep all of their building four stuff there and here's a locker they keep all their building three stuff because I hated when you were a freshman you had building three way on the other side mm. so you'd have to go way down here and get your books or you'd have to just carry all your books everywhere else yep. and then go there at the end of the day or lunch whatever so it was a pain but when you were like a senior you got like building four or five like right in the middle of everything it was great yeah has anyone been to a high school reunion no, no. I'm, I was getting married at my last one. Like, I didn't get married at the reunion, but, like, it was going on the, the time. time. I skipped my 10-year. There's supposed to be a 15-year happening this year, I yeah. think, right? It'd be interesting to see what people thought of my job now. It's like, hey, Eric, the guy always talked about TV and movies. What do you do now? Nobody would recognize me. I'd pretend to be Probably a different not. person. Yeah. yeah. You, could, you could go and be like, I'm John. You remember me? <laughs> I'll pretend I'm that one basketball player that people think I look like. Yeah, like Jason Momoa or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that one. I was in a production of Fiddler on the Roof in high school. I remember that. I was Lazar Wolf. Were you the fiddle? Laser Wolf. No, Lazar Wolf. As I said, it's a Jewish name. Laser Wolf, not Laser. What'd you hear? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Laser. It was a fun show. Yeah, no, Did you I wasn't. Play a fiddle? <clears throat> or were you on the roof? No. What's the point of this? That's a whole other character. What did you get to do? Did you just shoot a laser? I tried to marry Tevia's daughter. Were you guys wolves? No. I was a man. An old man. Trying to marry a young girl. And I was the butcher of the town. Is that relevant? Yep. Yeah. High status. A butcher's mm-hmm. high status mm-hmm. in the fiddler? Yeah. What? Well, figure the fiddler on the roof would be the highest status. No. He's on the roof. He's more of like an imp-like character that doesn't interact with the others. He fiddles up on the roof. So it's not about him? I mean, it's about so much. About Tevya. Who's that? He's big. Is that who you were marrying? No. Oh. I was marrying his daughter. Tevya is a man. What's and the daughter's name? Is the master of the house and has the final word at home. Tradition. So he wanted the daughter to be married to you. Yeah. Oh. So Amy was really doing it for you this episode. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm just. It, nah, I know why. <laughs> is all the she's lie. so confident in what she likes that's the, the most lingo. attractive thing about someone sure like someone that loves what they're doing I love that what do you like when you do like, do you love doing reaction videos I love bad movies um, gets me hot I love redheads yeah, see why well, you love it <laughs> passion <laughs> <laughs> so we Two B storylines. We yeah. had Rosa trying to choose between two yes. people that she was dating We've with completely... the Boyle method. Yeah, we got rid of completely the cab driver. The whole storyline's gone, right? Yeah. She just dismissed it. Basically. She dismissed it. We, we, we check in, I guess, with her stuff. But yes, <sighs> she's left over. She she's waiting the... until the universe decides for you. She That's a, to... That sounds like a Boyle move. The it coward's does. way out. It's pretty great. <laughs> Don't make any decisions. So you're never wrong. Do you think, like... He was just stringing her along until that happened? Mm. Or are these all steps in the process? Like, did he make all these up here? Or are they all Boyle traditions? I mean, he went to ancient Boyle ways. He did. Like, which seems like he had to really... It wasn't part of his plan. He had to, like, reach back in time. It could be. But he could have been lying. Maybe. But he's not a great liar, either. No. I can't imagine what happened 
that in one day that person said, sorry, I'm, we're done. <laughs> you know, like yeah. trying to buy time and stuff. Like, Was what, it one day? Well, it seemed to happen the whole time that they were gone at their reunion. Yeah, but sure. they found out that she was dating two people, right? Is what happened? I did, think I was laughing they? at a Holt joke, yeah. I don't and think I they missed did. it. I thought at one point they said, like, I'm dating two people, and they're, like, one of them or both of them are found out or something like that. Mm. Hmm. And that's why the, it was sent. That's why? I thought so. Okay. I don't know. Because, um, like, if, if, you, if you let on that it's a hard decision, yeah. that's not great either, right? Yeah, I would say so. Like, you want to be like, well, of course. It's yeah. It's only been you. But then why were you wrestling, and why are you dating both of us? You think they were wrestling? Yeah, they could be. Do you think that they mass produce coffins? coffins? Um, like in a factory? I mean, sure. Like, there's so sure. many people that are dying all the time. Yeah. You can't do it all hand. They're not making everyone custom. Yeah. No. But I'm sure there are custom ones. Yeah. What kind of coffin would you want? I'm thinking jacuzzi. I kind of jacuzzi. Don't know. jacuzzi coffin. Um, I want something tiny. Tiny. Yeah, I want something small. Like it's the whole thing is like we bury our dead to just, return to the earth and the ecosystem and we live. But then we put them in these fucking coffins and they don't decompose and yeah. but return. But a spaceship you know? out into space. I just want like a. You just put me in the ground. Yeah. Like, fuck it. I don't want any of this shit. <laughs> Just shove me in there. I don't care anymore. It's not what am easy I going to care about, you know? Yeah, I know. There's some kind of laws or something. But, like, you find a dead animal, it's just out in the wilderness. It's like, no one cares. I liked, um... Shoot. I had his name. I lost it. The guy that, uh, Leaving Las Vegas was about. The mm. journalist. Elvis. No. The gotcha journalist. Fuck. What's gotcha. his name? Yeah, no, I have it in my head, too. Tom's right. <laughs> no, um... Giant... Johnny, Johnny yeah. Depp played him. Yes. Johnny Mnemonic. And also fired him out of a cannon. What? Fuck. What? Which is the end of the story that I'm trying to get to. Yeah, I, I know, I know the end of the story, too. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Yep. I don't know what you're talking about. I said leaving Las Vegas, didn't I? Yeah. I meant Fear and Loathing. Yeah, you said leaving Las Vegas, so I said Elvis. <laughs> leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> well, he always left the building. He's always in Vegas. Tom. Jonathan. Tim. Carl. Okay, I got it. Uh, it the first name yeah. is a uh, it's a thing you do when you need meat to put on your table for your child. Butcher. It's not butcher. You go out into the woods and you carve it. Hunter S. Thompson. Yes! Woo! Okay. See, you feel like you've got it though. I didn't just tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. No, I appreciate that. All right. but yeah, uh, Hunter S. Thompson requested that his remains be fired out of a cannon. Yeah. And I believe Johnny Depp did that for him. Mm -hmm. Who played him in Fear and Loathing, Fear and Loathing Las yeah. Vegas. I believe that's a story. I heard, uh, I don't know which, maybe that it's Johnny Depp, but uh, there's a celebrity that wants to be infused into like wine or champagne and then drunk at their funeral. Mm hmm. Very that Jesus. Sounds, yeah. I don't want that. I want to be like a tree. You know, they can like put you in like a bulb and then you can go in the field and you can plant someone. Well, I want to like be like a mighty tree. The Netflix Cowboy Bebop yeah. episode? Yeah. And maybe that one day that tree will be next to like a futuristic highway and there'll be a high speed chase and the bad guy will run into the tree and then my branch will come and stab him in the chest. And they'll be like, thank you, Eric. Thank you. Thank God you're not in a coffin. I want to be a mouse. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think what now to do. Now I want to like turn plastic or whatever and then be in like a haunted house. <laughs> like your daughter's like, ah, oh, I want to, you want to see daddy? Yeah, and they got to ride, <laughs> ride this haunted house. They can, Ah! It's always been one of my greatest memories scaring children on Halloween. <laughs> now I can do it forever. Yep. Alright. Subscribe.